All right, so YouTube press is yet another day. Um, we have um, the latest version of um, Ekator School Management System, which is um, 5.4, which has just been sent to me this morning. I just woke up from bed and I checked my mail and I had it from Zaid Chaudhry. And Zaid Chaudhry, thank you very much for sending me this software. Let's look at the mail Zaid Chaudhry sent to me this morning. Um, he said, hello, sir. I'm sending you this latest version of Ekador 5.4 school management system files say you check it once and if everything is good then please make a tutorial so that everyone is benefit now but say i am facing two problems with it one cannot change um, the logo of um, the admin panel and then two slider images not showing in the front page um, so these are the two problems he encountered and actually that is true when I installed the software I didn't actually um, had the time to check it and I, I, I believe it's a problem starting from version 5 I, I believe because I went back to version 5 and I checked I installed it to check and then um, I had that issue um, but um, I'm not too sure if um, within the other versions they're able to fix it like um, 5.23 and other things but um, we are facing the same problem here and I've uh, been able to go through the code and then I'll be able to rectify that and here is uh, my version working all right on my screen but I want to urge developers end users doesn't care whatever happens what they care is about the visible aspect of um, the software when it comes to, to the invisible aspect none of them cares about that an end user will not have time to um, actually go to the invisible aspect of this software to check to see whether there's a problem there or not once the visible aspect is not working he concludes that the software is not working at all um, but um thank god we're able to rectify the problem and i believe this should be able to solve um, some of your problems that you are encountering with the software and then i believe by the end of the day the developers should be happy and then they should be able to rectify that error for um, everybody who buys the software to enjoy it very well so let's um run to the admin aspect of it now this is the software we have here um Ekato school management system version 5.4 you can see it here um i want to thank zaid again for sending me this software and i'm really i'm, I'm really pleased with him and i say a big thank you for um, also trying to help this channel to grow um there's nothing more than we can do as um, young brothers and thank you so much so now let's um move to the problem that he encountered when i started and actually wanted to fix this software i actually have to go through a whole a whole lot of places to find out where the problem exactly is so the first place i went was the home page i actually went to the home page i tried to check um the carousel aspect of um the slider to see whether if everything is okay and then it seems every code here was okay so I came to the page, I right click to view um, the page source. And when I checked the page source, I realized that the carousel was able to pick the images because they said the images location is localhost, um, the name of my folder, there's a folder there called upload, then front end slider and the images are there. So I realized that no, I went and cross checked the folder, the images are there exactly as they said there. So I came back to um, number two. Number two, I tried to actually find um, the JavaScript files to see whether every file was linked as well. So I rolled down to the end part of um, um, the source view to check to see whether these things were linked. And you can see carousel was linked and then carousel is linked again. Bootstrap is also linked, which will have to make the thing work. So my mind runs to JavaScript. So I went back to the top of the page and I realized that JavaScript was fixed somewhere around this area and JavaScript is here. So that should make the slider work so there's no problem the slider shouldn't be able to slide um, for pictures to be displayed so i moved on again to cross check on my javascript folder here and i realized that everything was okay i went to style sheet to make sure that everything was okay and everything is connected as um, my source page is saying that everything is connected so the next thing i went was the home controller to find out what was happening in this controller so i check on the home controller and i realized that everything was perfect as stated so i started looking for um, some other things so i came back to javascript and then i went through all the scripts and i realized that there's another 
file there called strips.js so i tried to locate that file and i opened that file and this is where i had the issue um be, but before i came to this page i actually visit um, um the page of um the carousel is our okay, website and i realized that i went through all um the settings and everything was okay as has been linked over there but when i go to this part where we are supposed to call the plugin i realized that we are supposed to use this value to call the plugin so at the initial point when it wasn't doing i copied this code and then i took it to um my javascript area and i placed it here i created um, a script area then i pasted it here save refresh but i wasn't seeing anything but when i came to the script i realized that they have um the code here but they have just um rewritten the code in a different way and added some new features in it and these are the features we have here so instead of um the carousel they have rather changed it to main slide and then when you look at um the home page on the slide you see that they have included main slide there so which will force the slider to slide with the effects they have for it so the first effects we have um items we have one then loop which is true so that means that anytime the slider slice the pictures and finish then it should go back to the beginning again and slice again and then dots whether we wanted dots at the bottom of the slider that means um, at the bottom part of here do we want dots to be displayed on it and then which they have kept their false that means that they don't want the dots to show then navigations which is true we have navigations lying here these two navigations one is moving backwards and one is moving forward to slide the pictures so navigation is true then we have um, the animation out effect which is what fade and then fade out means the picture should slowly fade away and then the next picture comes in and then we have um, our navigations arrows which are being displayed here which are linked and then the problem that was was on the autoplay the autoplay was set to false when i first opened the software it was false so i set it to true and save the whole script refresh the page and then the page loads up and started sliding the images but when it's um when i loaded it at initial point it didn't slide the image because still it couldn't see the pictures to as well so what i did was that i went back to uh, my home page then i took off the base url save and refresh and then load the whole page again but still the pictures weren't displaying so i have to fix back the echo base url again save and refresh and then it picked the pictures and quite apart from that uh, i did some test at nearly um at the initial point before i even went and took off the base url and the steps i took at the initial point was this i looked at my files and i realized that the pictures i uploaded there were spaces in between them like the naming style you have a um, um salman space can and so forth and so on or sheruk space can and so forth and so on so i realized that that was the first and so i also came to um, my slider and i created another folder copied the pictures there of pretty zinta salman khan and sheruk khan and i renamed them as slider so i named this as slider slider 2 and slider 1 without spaces and when i uploaded them that is where the pictures actually started sliding truly that is um after fixing the auto um, play that was the next thing that i did i copied the pictures into a folder and i named that folder slider and then i renamed the folders as slider then uploaded them one after the other at the back end as you can see there if you come to front page um we have pages here and then when pages loads we have um the home slider so i'll move to home slider here and then i uploaded the three pictures to um to the home slider and when i did that the picture started sliding but to be sure of it i went back to select a different image with a different name altogether and perfectly it started sliding i didn't have a problem but all the pictures i selected there wasn't spaces in between them and then they started sliding them so i got to realize that name um pictures with spacing might also cause the slider not to work as is expected to work so these are the things i took notice of when i was um, actually fixing up the software so um zai chotri i believe this will be able to help you to fix um, that issue of the home slider um, you are facing on your side so and i believe um this will be able to help anybody who is also um looking for ways and means to solve that problem to as well too i believe this will be a better way to help you 
to fix that problem. So now, Zai Chaudhary, let's look at how to fix that logo issue. Now, when you um, go to um, the software, see my logo is working all right. Um, there's a portion for you to upload the logo. Now, after uploading the logo, what happened is this. I don't know. There's, there's an issue with the software because the software is slow in thinking. And I believe developers have to sit down and work on that. Now, when you upload uh, the logo, what happens is this. Even though the logo is fixed to the system, but as I said earlier on, the software is slow in thinking. So the only thing you need to do is remind the software. So go to the logo, right click on it, then go to view um, image. Now when you click on view image, it opens the image in a new window. Now hit on the refresh button here to refresh and pick the file from the upload folder because they say the file is found inside of the upload folder and there's a, folder, um, there's a file there called logo. So right now, if I should upload a new logo, let me upload a new logo and let's see what happens. So if I go to upload a new logo and then I go down to the D column in my folder, then I look for um, a file there called dashboard, then I upload that logo. Now, that logo is supposed to take effect, but because the system is slow in thinking, because the system is slow in thinking, you can see it's still here as the virus systems and it's still here as um, uh, this thing, um, the virus system. But if I go to the folder right now, the uploads folder, you see that the logo is um, updated automatically to dashboard. I, ha I have the logo here as dashboard. But because the system is slow in thinking, you need to remind the system that you have uploaded an image. So you right click on the um, image, then click on view, then go to um, refresh, and it will pick the new logo you have uploaded. So when you go back, then it has reflected on your system as you expected to see it. So um, that is how the system is. Um, the system is slow in thinking. So um, the developers also have to fix that aspect of the system to, to make sure that the moment you upload a logo, then it reflects automatically without any uh, problem. Because JavaScript and everything, CSS, have been uploaded automatically um, from your local server. So uh, it is not like they are on the net whereby if you don't have internet service, um, all these files cannot be uploaded. No, they are uploaded locally. It's only the fonts that I see that they are uploaded from the net. When it comes to um, CSS and JavaScript and then other files, they are all uploaded locally, which are found on the Ekator um, folder inside. When you go to Access, you see all the scripts and then the CSS files there. So this system should have been fast in thinking, but it's very, very slow in thinking. I believe I will not have to go through the installation process again because I already have um, um, installation, two or three installations of um, Ekator on my page which was um, version uh, 5.3 and another version or so. So I don't think I have to go through the installation process again. So when you get this software after installing it, just try to follow this procedure to fix um, the errors that you are encountering on the home page, which is not making your sliders to slide. So I hope this will help everybody and then stay with me. And then any issue you have, please kindly let me know. If it is within my power, always remember what I say. If it is within my power, I will help you but if i cannot i i will find ways and means to solve it but if every means fails i'm sorry for that i can't do anything uh, i don't have magic is that okay i'm only blessed by god that i have knowledge to help so if it happens that i'm not able to do it just count me as one of the human beings who is not also able to do something in life is that okay so thank you and then stay tuned with this channel and if you like what i'm doing please subscribe to the channel for more tutorials to come on your way and then like my videos most importantly comment to as well try to leave comments on the video that is i think that is what people also looks at when they are looking at videos and tries to also read videos they also count comments to as well so try to leave good comments on the videos so please with our facebook pages and twitter pages you can follow us on them and then also try to check on my side um with time to time and then for more release later on. I'm still working on the site, but I believe very soon it will be ready and live to work with. So catch you up and then the same time on our next tutorial. Bye for now.